I had someone tell me that salvation is merely the beginning and not the end. But salvation is what will happen at the final judgment. Is the final not the end? Let's unpack why they said this and prove what's true. Hey there, you're tuned into Belief is All. If you're free grace, then grace and peace unto you. If you're not free grace, well, let's just see how you feel by the end of this message. Not too long ago, somebody told me salvation empowers us to do good works for God's program. And I agree with them. But then they followed it up by saying salvation is the beginning and not the end. This is what inspired this video. I see a lot of comments like this all across videos from my fellowship. Subtle ones that are basically like, yeah, you're right, but also you're wrong. Today, I'm going to give three points you could take into account when responding to a statement like it. This will help you to be able to respond to goats who have figured out how to subtly mandate works without being the typical pearl-clutching salvation flunky that make up the loud majority. And make sure you stay all the way to the end because number three is going to really equip you for battle. Point number one, address the yes. So these type of comments always try to soften the blow with a little love bomb. They'll say, you're correct that salvation is by faith alone, but... Depending on who you're dealing with, you may let them speak here, and we'll talk more about that in the next point. But my preference is to cut them off. There is no but. Salvation is by faith alone, and the word verifies it at least three times. That's at least three times more than it says it's by works. Why would they even affirm you if they just wanted to contradict you? It's trying to make inroads in the hopes that you'll fold. Don't do it. And speaking of things you shouldn't do, point number two. Hello, hypocrisy. Like I said, anytime you have somebody open up like, yeah, we all know salvation is by faith alone, but just let them talk. They'll often follow it up with some backloaded phrase, such as our example, salvation is the beginning, not the end. Now, why did you say this? Did I imply that it was the end? I likely did because that is the main goal. And why are you against that? Do we believe in the gospel or not? Okay. So the person in you should be good. But that's the thing, when you get statements like this, you aren't good. Something in them is making them want to countersignal the rhetoric. And the only reason you want to countersignal faith is if you believed in works or some other backloaded gobbledygook. You can't work your way to heaven. And if you think you can, you're a hypocrite, for you judge and belittle others for something you yourself are incapable of doing. Congratulations, you played yourself. Now it's getting good. Point number three, synthetically synergetic. Synthesis is when you take two things to make one. Synergy is when the two combined things form one greater thing than the two would be alone. So in that statement, we have two separate ideas. That salvation allows us to do good works and that salvation is not the end. The whole of the comment is the synthesis, but the synergy is the implication of the synthesis. This is not the end. You are incomplete. You can have your own synergy by combining their heresy with your knowledge of the Bible. You cannot work your way to heaven because the word of God says that salvation is not of works lest any man should boast. Put to rest notions of works meaning salvation. You can end the synergy simply by knowing what the Bible says and standing on it. You can also have your own synergy by liking and subscribing to this channel for more free grace talks. Because you and I are better together than we are apart. You've been tuned into Belief is All. If you are free grace, Godspeed and blessings. If you aren't free grace, hey, try watching another one until you get it. Maybe try my other hypocrite related video I did recently. See you there, and see you all in the next one.